the fourth week, everyone seems to be settling down and reaping the benefits of their lifestyle change. If I can get fit in four weeks, then anyone can do it. And it's not just the pink team who are seeing improved health and fitness. In particular, Kevin and Dave, their blood pressure ha has dropped significantly. That's quite spectacular. Is it really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, you've, you've increased your own life expectancy in the space of a few weeks. You've added years to your life. Thanks. I'm over the moon. The rest of Carol's teammates are past fit. The same, however, cannot be said for the blue team. What have you done? I had a little accident this morning on the running machine. Ah! This is a, a bad sprain of your ankle. And it's going to limit what you can do for a, a, maybe even a couple of weeks. And then we need to think about the challenge this afternoon. I'm sure you want to do it. It's qu quite strenuous, though. Went to see the doctor because I wanted to find out exactly what was wrong with my neck. It's a neck sprain. It could last three days, it could last three weeks. This is the biggest boy in the world. Jambik Hatohov is four foot three inches tall and weighs 16 stone. In this film, Dr. Ian Campbell, one of the world's leading experts on obesity, is traveling over 2,000 miles in order to meet seven-year-old Jambik Hatohov the biggest boy in the world. Somehow we, we, we've got to convey the message to Nelia that what she's doing may be killing the boy. So, so ask, ask this lady, does, does he remind her of Sizruko? Talented meaning a fighter, a warrior. Oh, OK. When I put all the evidence together, what it makes me think is that, is that Jambik is a boy who is likely to be obese in any case because of his constitution, but who in all probability at some point has been given something to make him bigger and stronger. And it made me think that possibly around about the age of two and a half to three, he'd been given anabolic steroids to promote that growth. And that's why I'm really urging you to, to... Maybe you do need to get professional help. I know you want to help them. You can't do it on your own. But what I'm confident of is that if that doesn't happen, Jambik's future doesn't look very good indeed, and he will become very sick very soon. Yeah, I'm now, this week, the very real and growing problem of childhood obesity has dominated the news. This is your profession. This isn't what you know. Whose fault is it? I think we've all got a responsibility to, to help children here. I think that responsibility has to start at home. And what Adele has done is recognised that and really taken control of the situation. But, you know, modern life is really hard, and it's very hard to control your children. Adele's one of these old-fashioned parents that actually says no to her kids and, and tries to help them control the eating behaviour. But it's very hard to do that, and there are plenty of occasions where you do need to get professional help. The ultrasound shows that his liver is infiltrated with fat, and the blood test, I'm sure, will reveal high levels of cholesterol. What we found with Sue is that her blood pressure is slightly up, her weight's normal, but her energy levels are not great, and she does feel quite excessively tired in the evenings. It's time for the results. Ian, what we've seen in you is that your blood pressure has dropped from a high of 180 to 118. That's hugely significant. At the same time, your cholesterol level, the amount of fat in your blood, has dropped by 15%. Having analysed their sperm samples, Dr Ian Campbell, the Petri Twins GP, arrives with the results. Blue Twin, you produced 2.5 mils of fluid, yeah. within which was about 73 million active sperm. Good. It's very good. And that means there were roughly 30 million sperm per mil.